Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do something that is a Scratch tutorial, technically. However, we're not actually going to be doing anything in Scratch, but what we are doing will directly affect your Scratch, if that makes sense. It's just gonna change the way it looks a bit. For example, look at my screen right now. You see this stuff? See how dark it is? Are you getting some Scratch 1.0 vibes if you did Scratch during 1.0? I didn't. I started in 2.0, but I know what 1.0 is, and this is this is what it looks like right here. Well, not no, that's a lie. It doesn't look exactly like this, but it's dark like the original one was, which is a lot better, especially if you're like me and you're a night owl and you code at night and the bright light hurts your eyeballs and you just don't want to have your eyes be burned out of your skull so you enjoy a dark screen better. Like it's dark on it's dark on all aspects, super dark, super nice. I really enjoy it. Also, have you ever wanted to have your Scratch 3.0 functions, like for example, you know all this cool stuff? Have you ever wanted to still have this, but have the setup be like how 2.0 was? Like you know when this whole section, like your sprite and actual game section, was over here, and then all your coding blocks, costumes, and sounds are right in the middle. And then your giant coding space was off to the side over here. Ever wanted to go back to that, but still have all the 3.0 functions? Well, congratulations, you're in the right place. Because this video will teach you exactly how to do that. And also, with the dark mode thing, you can customize it to be whatever colors you want. It doesn't even have to be dark. I just prefer dark. It looks. I think it looks the nicest. But hey, you can do whatever you want. You can make this pink if you wanted to. I don't know. Do whatever you want, man. It's your world. Um, so... Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial of how to make your scratch look uh, look cool. Or yeah, and then you can like lie to your friends, like when you show them, and they're like, "Oh, how'd you get your scratch to be in like dark mode and like that, and you look like 2.0?" You could be like, "I'm just a really good hacker. I'm just I can source code. Yeah, I can do that." Just kidding. DK uh, DK Universe channel Deku does not support lying. Don't I don't condone it. Do not do it. But if your friends ask, um, don't tell them how to do it. Link them to this video uh, because views. Yeah, because because views and it gets recommended recommended, and then more people will be able to see it and do this cool thing and not strain their eyes at night. All right, let's go. Open up your Chrome Web Store. This is considering that you are on a that you use Google Chrome. To use Scratch, if you use like Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever other browser you use, I don't know, GB, Bitbright, I don't know. Um, this probably won't work. I don't know. I don't use those ones. I, I use, actually, it's not Internet Explorer anymore, is it? It's like Microsoft Edge now, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know. So just come to your Chrome Web Store. Just so you know, this email right here is a throwaway email. If you email it, it I won't get it. Well, I mean, I'll get it. I won't be looking at it, though, because I never use this. I never use this account. Literally ever. It's a throwaway account that I use just for this video. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. All right, anyways, come to the search over here. Let's search the store. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in better 3.0. It's going to load up. You're just going to give it a bit because for some reason, whenever you record, your internet goes from, like, 60 megabytes a second to, like, 4 Anyways, here we are. You'll get these random speak recognition things. And then you'll get the better 3.0 to make Scratch look better. Go ahead and click that, and you're going to... Obviously, mine's on, but you're going to add it to Chrome. It's going to add a little pop-up. You're going to click, like, add or whatever it says over here. Um, and then you can get this. And then once you have it, it should show up here. And if it doesn't, just click your extensions, and it should show up in here. Actually, I'm going to pin mine just so it's easier to access. And once you've done that, here you're in Scratch, right? So click on this. Click on your, the new thing you downloaded, the control panel. I don't know, it should bring up this. These are beta functions. I wouldn't touch these until these are out of beta. But if you mean if you want to try it, go ahead. Uh, in behavior, you can make your sprites area bigger, like this thing. You can make that larger. You can show the remix tree button, because I'm pretty sure with 3.0, the remix tree. Remember that 2.0 had? You click it and you can see all the trees of how they remixed it. Uh, you can show that now because I'm pretty sure you can't see that anymore. And the auto hide blocks palette, you can also get rid of that. 
show messages and editor that one is a uh, disabled i guess for uh, uh, as of right now at the moment if you come to appearance here is where it gets juicy so you might have this on or off what you need to do is you need to go ahead and, and start by doing that so if i do this it might go back to white just i i'm gonna do this just so i can show what yours probably looks like yeah here you go here's your scratch right here's what your scratch looks like hurts your eyes doesn't it makes you your want to tear your eyeballs out so you can click this right and you click enable dark theme just like that and then when you reload what you'll see okay when you reload is it might not do what mine just did okay yours might still be white and if it's not here's the fix and also you might realize when you click dark theme and then reload that your scratch looks like 2.0 that's normal um but anyways for the appearance click use custom colors and then click reset so like if if you have a dark mode on and then you reloaded and it's still white uh open use custom theme colors and click reset and it should immediately do it again and if it doesn't just reload then after that now if your scratch looks like 2.0 aka like this right if you like this then congratulations here's your 2.0 here's your scratch the way you were used to it back then back in the back in the good old days right remember that i remember that click this and if it is like that and you don't like it this should be off normally this is off right like it's seriously off even though it looks like this just click it and just keep clicking until you get it the way you want whichever one you want uh i personally have gotten used to 3.0's layout now so i'm going to keep using it however if i had this back when it just turned 3.0 i'd definitely be using this mode okay and one uh special thing i know i'm just gonna read what this says right here but uh warning if stage is on the left like it is right now if you are using scratch 2.0 looking mode you would not be able to move scripts directly from one sprite to another please use the backpack and what that means is if you have this right and you have i don't know this if you have a script you can't do this thing drag and drop into the sprite it won't go through so what they're telling you you need to do is open your backpack oh my goodness it oh, okay so what happened there is it transferred it, so like th the code that we just wrote right in here that we just did a second ago then transferred to here it tried to transfer it to that one so it deleted it in general since it can't transfer it to this one it deleted this one too so what it wants you to do is make your little your, your little script open your backpack this is if you want to transfer through sprites smack that in your backpack open your other sprite and then drag it in and then you'll get it that's what it's telling you Anyways, I prefer 3.0 now because I've gotten used to that. And yeah, now look at that. Now you have this beautiful looking scratch layout. And again, you can set this up to be whatever you want. Like the appearance color palette. Like, it's your world, man. It's your world. You can do whatever you want. Like, like have fun, man. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Go ahead. Have fun. Make your thing look beautiful. Make your stuff look sexy. Just have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> or make your scratch look ugly like this. This is disgusting. This is absolutely abysmal to the eyes. And then if you ever want to fix it, just come into here. Appearance. Use custom colors. Reset. Dark mode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways because um i have a lot of fun with this i enjoy it like this it makes me happy so like for my happiness rude uh while you're at it why not subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content then help me out a lot go down the link in the description join the discord we have a bunch of stuff i guess yeah um uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace